Atlas I saucer. Okay, guys, um, I have the, this is the setup I'm doing. I'm just uh, testing the motor uh, on the bench. I have connected these uh, safety uh, plugs. I got two switches to turn on. Uh, this is uh, hooked the same as a uh, factory. Uh, they're all in parallel, meaning um, red with red on the top, and black with black and also in the bottom the same thing black with black uh, red with red and then I'm feeding batteries straight uh, through this positive that I, I have it reading at the amp meter um, and I have also connected a safety red switch here I have set up the motor with uh, with the um, to take the RPMs with a signal in it uh, so we can read RPMs purpose here is uh, take a reading of the battery voltage the DC amps that is uh, motor is taking and the RPMs is uh, outputting and uh, first I'm gonna turn on one of this uh, it's got the same uh, type of connection uh, one cable to negative and the Y uh, spread common to both switches so they can independently turn on the negatives at each uh, uh, side of the commutators and here we're turning uh, what we're doing here is turning P15 and P1 uh, in the same uh, turning here and over there in the second block I'm turning on 8 and 22 which are opposite by uh, 180 degrees so once that we get a full now gotta realize that when we don't have this uh, when this when the second switch is off it's producing current through through uh, their positives which is right here see we're fitting here and we're fitting here this is the way it goes uh, so uh, next run I'm gonna put the camera on a, on a tripod so I can do the measurements and go for it uh, batteries are fully charged uh, 39.6 volts static voltage and I'm gonna be setting the meter for amps DC amps okay and then I'm gonna be uh, taking the measurements on the speed okay guys I have uh, set up the amp meter to to read DC amps and batteries are uh, 39.6 and I have the same setup um, I'm gonna be I got the switches here and first I'm gonna be, be turning just one and then I'm gonna be measuring um, the RPMs right here I think you could read it here yeah All right. so let's go for it
Now the temperature at the coils is 106, 105. And battery is back to 39 volts. Um, very cold. I can't touch it with my fingers here. It's not hot at all. So it's a wonderful setup here. Still gaining voltage. Because remember that I have them hooked up without uh, diode, so energy is feeding back into the batteries. And these things are disconnected.